Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to give you some tips for the daily habits and best practices that I think a pipe drive user should be following. Now, this video is probably quite good if you've watched some of my previous videos about pipe drive. You probably need to have a little bit of an understanding of pipe drive already. And it's really designed to kind of summarize what I think, you know, your daily habits should be when you log into pipe drive each day. If you have any questions after this video, please leave me a comment below. And if you want help with Pipedrive, setting up your account, getting more out of the tool, automating your sales process, have a look in the description below this video where you'll find details of my master Pipedrive training program where I provide group coaching, online lessons, and access to me, private consulting with me as well. So let's get into this video. Now, like I said, it's probably worth going back, watching some of my earlier videos as well. Um, if you've watched some of my content before, you'll know that I really push and encourage people to use the activities in Pipedrive. This is where you schedule your follow-up. And so the best practice with Pipedrive, here if I go to this Chuck Bass deal, the best practice is to always have an activity scheduled on a deal that's set for some time in the future. I'm actually just in my demo account here. So this one from 2019 is a bit old, but let's say, you know, this is a client that I want to follow up with. I schedule an activity on the deal and let's say I'm going to have a, give him a call, let's say next week. And so there we go. I've scheduled that for the future. And so the first key thing is number one, use your activities to remind yourself when to follow up with different deals and, and leads. This is a feature that means uh, that is really important to make sure that you don't let important deals or leads fall through the cracks. And so the best practice to use on a daily basis is to work from your activities tab to see and, and you know inform what you need to do. And so here's my activities screen. This is actually from my account now. And uh, we can see these gray ones that are crossed out. These are activities that I've already completed. But I can see some green ones here. These are the activities that I still need to complete today. And up here on the top right, I can change the time frame so I can look at activities that I have, I have to do tomorrow or just this week. I generally keep mine on the today view. So every morning when I log into Pipe Drive, I look at my activities here and I just look at use the activities and use that to inform what I need to do. I think what some people do is they log into Pipe Drive and they look at their deals page. They look at this one here and they kind of scan this page and think, you know, what shall I do? And I think what we tend to do is we pick the deals that are easy and we think, you know, oh, that person's, uh, you know, I'll follow up with them. That'll be an easy one. But really, we should be using the activities to inform our follow up process. And so if you always have an activity scheduled on those leads and deals uh, showing when you need to follow up, you can log in each day and you'll have a fresh list each day of activities, you know, phone calls, emails and proposals proposals and things that you need to work on. And so that's the first habit is just look at your activities and, and start working through them. As you mark them off, so as I mark this one as complete, I am then going to schedule another activity uh, saying when I need to follow up again. So I'm always setting some kind of next action for each deal that I'm working on. The next best practice to follow is to try and uh, process as much information into Pipedrive as you can. So as you're going through your actual email inbox, either if you're doing that up here in the Pipedrive inbox or if you're using just Outlook or Gmail, um, as you are receiving information from your leads, contacts, deals, if there's important information that you think belongs in Pipedrive, try and put it in there. So again, it might be coming into Pipedrive and you might be writing some notes in here. So maybe there's some important information in an email, you might copy that into a note. Or maybe there's an email attachment they've sent you with some specifications about your deal. You can upload that to the files. Uh, as you're gathering information, you want to be keeping the custom fields here up to date as well. So you might be updating things like this budget field, or you might be changing, um, you know, revenue model here, or if they've booked a, uh, booked a date with me, I might fill this in here. The point is, is as I'm gathering information from email or I'm on the phone with potential leads and clients, I'm processing all that information into Pipedrive. I think the benchmark of uh, a good Pipedrive account is that you really want it to be completely up to date and tell a really complete story and picture, paint a picture of your interaction with a lead or a client. So if you get hit by a bus tomorrow, you know, touch wood. Uh, but if that happens, somebody else can pick up where you left off. They can see your notes. The deal is completely up to date. So that's my kind of second big tip, big daily habit to get into is just as you're receiving emails or on phone calls, try and process and collect all of that information that you're gathering into Pipedrive. And the third 
tip really, and that's kind of dovetailing off the back of the last one, is to keep Pipedrive up to date. Leave Pipedrive open. Some people I've worked with, they will open Pipedrive once a day, maybe even at the end of the day, and they kind of summarize what they've done for the day into Pipedrive, and they update deals and add notes and things. My recommendation is keep Pipedrive open. If I'm working, the tab is always open on my computer. And a, a little tip for you, if you're on Safari, um, you can actually push a tab to the left-hand side and you can pin it on the left right there. So I sometimes do that to kind of keep it on my tabs, but kind of make it a little bit smaller. That's a little Safari tip for you. But basically, I just I keep it open so that at a moment's notice, if I get an email or I'm on, on a phone call with somebody and I need to quickly access Pipedrive, I can just jump into it and I can keep everything up to date. Because what I find happens, if you are somebody who only updates Pipedrive once a day, you will often forget things, uh, and it's just not as up to date. Uh, you, you may be checking it and you've forgotten to add something, and so generally the information in Pipedrive is just, it's, it's less accurate, it's lower quality, it's not up to date in real time, and so generally just trust in the system will break down because you think, it's not up to date. I can't really trust what's in here. And if all your, you and your sales team are not gathering information into Pipedrive, trust will break down, the reports won't make sense, and general confidence and adoption of Pipedrive will slow down and be, be hindered as well. So in summary, keep Pipedrive open, try and be processing information into it as much as you can, keep it up to date, and that will actually be more efficient than trying to do one big cleanup at the end of the day. So just keep, keep Pipedrive open. It's funny actually, sometimes I will talk to a client and uh, they'll, we'll, we'll be looking at a deal and they'll tell me, oh, that one's already won, they just haven't clicked the one button, or it might not even be in the correct stage. And so those are simple little things that you need to be doing, just keeping everything in the correct stage, marking things as won and lost, because actually that will impact the reports in Pipedrive as well. So those are some quick tips. Uh, just to summarize again one more time, work from that activities screen rather than looking at the deals and deciding what to do. Log in, look at your activities every day and decide, uh, you know, basically work from that to-do list. As you mark activities as complete, set up new activities for new follow-ups and things you're going to do, you know, in the following days or weeks. Uh, as you're gathering information throughout the day from email or on phone calls, process as much of that information into Pipedrive, into the notes, custom fields, files as you can. Keep Pipedrive up to date and keep Pipedrive open. Rather than doing a big cleanup at the end of the day, uh, refer to it often, move deals to the next stage, mark them as one and lost, process information into here, and that will be a lot more efficient and keep the system a lot more accurate and up to date than if you try and do everything at the end of the day. So, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.